Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, not the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, not the tormented. The victims being the only ones that need your compassion. The victimizers, all victimizers, don't need your compassion. That you've been in the majority, don't mean that you've been automatically right. Majority only means that you're in the majority, that you've been by the status quo. The status quo is not always right. Let me go play in time gang. What the slave masters right? Well, men that think that they're being more superior than women, were they ever right? No. Bitch, pedophile right? No. So, please examine always the victim's position of people. Because if you're not being the victim, things look a lot different from the angle. If you use the mindset of the criminal, of the slave master, of the rapist, or the or some other monster, monstrous mindset. I say, all crimes become very easily to justify because it don't affect you directly. But please, people, examine always the victim's position because no excuse holds stand if you use that. That's how we can bring peace on this world. But not by protecting the victimizers. I know nobody see themselves like a victimizer. But it don't mean that you don't mean what. Take occasional on the suffering while you spell yourself the sight. If you being a meat eater, you pay for the murder, rape and torture of other living beings. They call it insemination, or they call it slaughter, or they call it standard operational tactics. Oh, euphemisms. Calling something different don't make the crime less vicious. It's only a hoax. It is a scam. It is a fraud. Good people don't pay for the murder, rape, and torture of other living beings. Good people don't participate in violent rituals and traditions that have been based on bloodshed, cruelty, and barbarity. Good people oppose it, even if it be against the status quo, the law. That's what we mean, actually. The law is not justice. The law is the status quo. People, please, go be younger animals. Do it for the planet. The animals don't deserve this treatment. They don't deserve to be hanged upside down on the slaughterhouse floor and that some smug cut one a knife between their throat and murder them. They don't deserve to have children be stolen away from them and put them in small child concentration camps that we call so euphemistically feel worms. They don't deserve this. It's not kind. It's not friendly. It's not peaceful. This evil. A 
threat to justice everywhere. There's a threat to justice everywhere. Anyway. There is no excuse for. Just like there was no excuse for that the slave masters enslave and murder the slaves. There's no justification for that. No one single one. No one is exists. So, police people. Examine always the victim's position of the situation if you decide right from wrong. The animals don't want to be your victim, just like you don't want to be their victim. Do to others. Just like you want that dare do to you. Since nobody in the world wants to be treated the way humans treat the other animals. It's more logical to become vegan.